This is a demo of ComparemT, a tool for holistic comparison of language generation systems. The basic premise behind ComparemT is that we're a developer of some sort of language generation system, including machine translation, summarization, dialogue system, chatbots, etc. In this case, it's very common for us to have an input, an expected output curated by humans, often called the reference, and multiple system outputs from different systems that we would like to compare. For example, in the case of machine translation, we might have a source sentence, in this case in Slovak, a reference sentence where the first uh, sentence is, by the end of this year, there will be nearly a billion people on this planet that actively use social networking sites, and then the output from multiple systems. So, for example, system one is a phrase-based MT system, that outputs by the end of this year will be on this planet about a billion people to use active aspects of social networks. And system two is a neural MT system, which outputs the end of this year is going to be about billions of people actively using sites of social media. The first thing we do when we compare these systems normally is calculate some coarse-grained metrics, such as blue score to tell us which of the two systems is better. So if we do this for both of our systems, we get 22.4 for the phrase-based system and 24.0 for the neural system. However, this does leave us wondering, what are the actual main differences between these systems? What is one system doing better, and how can we can improve each of them? So the way to run compare MT, with its basic settings at least, is very simple. We just run the command, we add the reference, the system1 and system2, we specify an output directory for an HTML report, and we also uh, give some system names, in this case pbmt and nmt. So we run this, and very soon we get a report written to the terminal. This terminal report is there in case you're working in a remote environment like a server, so you can browse it very quickly. But the real uh, easier to understand report is in the HTML report, so let's open that up. This is an example of a compare mt.py analysis report. The first thing we find are aggregate scores. So these include things like blue, as we mentioned before, but also other things like length ratio. The length ratio is the ratio of the length of the output to the input, and we can see that despite the fact that neural MT is doing a little bit better with blue score, it's actually generating hypotheses that are slightly shorter compared to the reference in the phrase-based MT system, which maybe is interesting. But the more interesting results come from compare MT's more fine-grained analysis abilities. So for example, we can measure word accuracies by the particular characteristics of the word. An example of this that is on by default is measuring the word F measure by its frequency bucket. So this is the accuracy of each word by how frequent it is in the test set. From this, we can see a very interesting and clear trend. We can see that phrase-based MT is better at the low frequency words that only appear one to 10 times in the test set, whereas neural MT is better at the high frequency words that appear many times in the test set. This is an interesting result that also follows a previous knowledge on neural versus phrase-based MT, that phrase-based MT is better at generating rare words. A second piece of analysis, or type of analysis, that compare MT can do is bucketed sentence analysis. So another thing that we would like to know about is how good is each system at particular types of sentences. And one example of this is where we bucket each sentence by its length and we measure the blue score. So that's precisely what we did here. And we can see another interesting trend here that neural MT is doing better at sentences with shorter length whereas for sentences of very long length, more than or equal to 60, phrase-based MT is doing better. There are other types of bucketed analysis that we can do based on the settings, and another type of analysis that we have found useful is comparing the reference output length difference. What this means is we subtract the length of the output from the length of the reference, so things that are close to zero are 
outputs where the system was able to accurately predict or accurately generate sentences of similar length to the reference output. From this, we can see that NMT is slightly better at doing this. Um, it's better at generating sentences that are very close to the reference length. A third type of bucketed sentence analysis that we could do is we could uh, create a histogram of the number of sentences that get an accuracy of a particular range. So in this case, we can see on the right side, these are the number of sentences that have very high sentence level voice scores. And we can see that consistently the neural MT system is better at generating these very accurately uh, produced sentences. Another type of analysis that compare MT supports is the generation of characteristic n-grams for each system. What this means is particular n-grams that one system was much better at generating correctly than the other. So for phrase-based MT, we can see some characteristic n-grams, such as uh, Phantom in Amy, uh, where the phrase-based MT system was much better at generating these than the neural MT system. This is interesting because these are low-frequency words um, that we saw before, but they give specific examples that we could then drill in and see what M NMT did instead. There's also other things like who, my mother, and so something else happened, which would be interesting to go in and analyze further. On the other hand, if we look at and grabs that NMT had higher match. We have things like going to show you, going to show, because the, etc. And interestingly, these are generally multi-word combinations of uh, more frequent words. Finally, we're able to output sentence examples uh, where one system did better than the other. So here are some examples of this, and we could take a look at the third one and see for example, this also gives us a concrete example of where the phrase-based MT system was a little bit better at generating low-frequency entities. So this is just the default analysis that is provided by Compare MT, but actually it has a lot more functionality that you can use and decide to use uh, depending on the type of analysis that you want to do. So we can run Compare MT with a much more complicated command that uses lots of varieties of advanced analysis, and it will shortly write out the report. That we can then open in our browser. So just to give a few examples of this, um, CompareMT can also calculate st significance tests, statistical significance tests for each of the measures. So in this case, we can see uh, that with a very high confidence, system two is beating system one at blue score. And also with a relatively high level of confidence, uh, system two is lower than system one at a uh, length ratio. Compare MT also supports other types of evaluation metrics, such as RIBES, a reordering based metric, and Rouge, a metric for summarization systems, which means you can also analyze by other aggregate statistics as well. For word accuracies, we can also measure the word accuracy by frequency of the training set, which is arguably more informative than word accuracy in the test set if the training set is available. When we do this, we can see even more convincingly that phrase-based MT tends to be better at words that have low frequency in the training set, which shows that it's much better at learning from a few training examples. We can also bucket words by arbitrary labels and measure their accuracy using these. One example of this is part of speech tags. So in this analysis, we show the word accuracy by part of speech tag, and we can find some interesting things. For example, phrase-based MT is much better at generating nouns, whereas neural MT is better at generating grammatical words such as determiners and connecting conjunctions. Most interestingly, and surprising to us, because we didn't realize this before we ran this analysis, was that the phrase-based MT system was actually better at generating base form verbs, whereas the neural MT system was better at generating inflected verbs. 
These labels could also be given in a numerical fashion. So, for example, in this case, we gave a label for each word based on its relative position in the sentence, where a lower value indicates closer to the beginning of the sentence and a higher value indicates closer to the end of the sentence. This also uncovered an interesting result of phrase-based MT being about the same as neural MT for words at the beginning of the sentence, but as the sentence progressed, phrase-based MT started to beat neural MT. This indicates that neural MT is having trouble maintaining the, its ability to generate well near the end of the sentence, perhaps due to uh, its maximum likelihood training on an autoregressive model. Finally, it's also possible to analyze source word accuracies. So if you wanted to measure the accuracies of the source words according to frequency or part of speech tag or morphological tag, this is also able to be done as long as you have alignments between the source and the target words, which you can get from an automatic aligner or manual alignments. The sentence buckets are the same as the original analysis, so I'll skip these. Then finally, for characteristic engrams, we can also do these on a part of speech basis. So for example, we might be able to see that phrase-based MT is a little bit better at generating some question sentences or a noun, adverb, a past tense verb, whereas neural MT is better at generating a ing verb to a verb preposition. This allows for slightly more coarse-grained analysis of the outputs. All in all, CompareMT, as we said, is a method for holistic anal analysis of language generation results, and we hope that you'll be able to use it in your experiments to dig a little bit deeper and look beyond just the aggregate scores that you get from metrics like blue or rouge. Thank you.